welcome back to my channel. Today, we will discuss on report writing for experiment 5, Geometrical Optics. So, the learning outcome at the end of this lesson, students should be able to determine the focal length of the convex lens. Okay, so from the theory, we know that lens equation 1 over f is equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v, where f is the focal length, u is the object distance, v is the image distance. Okay, so from the equation just now, 1 over f equals to 1 over u plus 1 over v, okay, uh, we will get the equation Okay, when we times over v okay so we will get the equation v over f equals to v over u plus one okay so from here we notice that actually v over u here is the magnification so if we rearrange back the equations v over u we will get the magnification where the symbol here we use m so m will equal to negative v over f plus one okay so this is the equations that we will use to plot the graph where m is the height of the image over height of the object hi over h0 or we can write it as negative v over u okay so the negative sign indicates that the image is inverted hence from the graph m against v is the straight line graph so later we will plot n versus v graph and the equation also now shows that m is actually proportional to v okay when v equals to 2f m is equal to negative 1 okay so when you substitute here when v equals to 2f we will find that actually m is equal to negative 1 eh? because when v equals to 2f okay meaning that we will get the image is same size okay okay next we go to the procedure okay use the convex lens to focus a distance object such as a tree outside the uh, laboratory of the screen so the distance between the screen and the lens is estimated focal length okay so this is the first focal length that we will found okay where this estimate focal length here okay we must do it outside the laboratory okay okay next after that, we will bring all the apparatus inside the laboratory and we need to set up the apparatus as shown in 5.1 okay, where we have the, the light source okay, and then we have to cover up with the narrow triangle slip okay, here this is the lens and the lens holder and this is the screen where the screen here you can see the image height okay, and the distance between the screen uh, to the lens here is V so this is the uh, image distance okay, whereas lens to the cupboard or the object here is U. Okay, U is the object distance. Okay, place the object in front of the lens at a suitable distance where uh, we assume that the U here must be between F until 2F, okay, in order to get a, a sharp real inverted image. Okay, so make sure I record the object distance U and also V. After that, we need to find the magnification by using the equation M equals to negative V over U. Okay, after that, change the locations of the object, repeat step 5 and 6 until 6 sets of the reading we will get. Okay, after that, we plot N versus V graph. Okay, determine the focal length from the gradient. Okay, so this is, uh, the second F is from the gradient. Okay, the second F is from the gradient where we notice that the gradient here from the equations. Okay, from the equations, uh, okay, here. Okay, 5.2 equations where we know that M is equal to negative V over F plus 1. So if you compare y equals to mx plus c, okay, meaning that the value here, y exit is the magnification, okay, x exit is the image distance, okay. So we know that the, our gradient here, or the knee, the value m, the gradient m is equal to negative one over f, okay. Therefore, the focal length from the gradient is equal to negative one over m, okay. So this is the second gradient that we will get. Okay, so this one we call it as the second gradient where it's equal to negative 1 over m. Okay, after that, read the dis image distance v from the graph when m equals to negative 1, okay, determine the focal length. So the third focal length here, okay, f from the graph, okay, where we know when m equals to negative 1, okay, we go back to the equation just now. Okay, we notice that when m equals to negative 1, v is equal to 2f. Okay, because when m equals to negative 1, meaning that it's, it's actually same size. Okay, so when same size, v is equal to 2f. Okay, so the third focal length is when m equals to negative 1, v is equal to 2f. Okay, so therefore our f is equal to v over 2. Okay, from where we will get, okay, actually from the graph. Well, later you will get this graph. Okay, so this is m versus v. Okay, so from the graph here, Okay, when m equals to negative 1, okay, you will find out what is the value for v. So meaning that total out, we have three types of the focal length. Okay, next, we will go to the uh, data given. So for experiment 5, geometrical optics here, okay, the objective is actually to determine the focal length of the convex lens. 
Okay, so number one from the observation, the data tabulation for primary data. So the first F we already given, where the estimated focal length here is 9.5 plus minus 0 0.1. Okay, so this is the first F that we will get. Now this is what we call F estimated. Okay, the second F we must get from the gradient. So after we have uh, done the experiment, meaning that we will get the value of object. Okay, so U, because the estimated value here is 9.5. And okay, the value for the object distance must be between f and 2f. Okay, so meaning that it must be between around 9.5 to 19. So we take this value 14 to 19. Okay, so this is the object distance. And we also found that the image distance is 35, 32, 30, 28, 26, 24.5. Okay, so after that, what should we do is we need to find the magnification where the magnification equation is equal to negative v over u. Okay, so for example, the first equation v over u for the first data. Uh, v is 35, u is 14. So we will get negative 2.5 and so on. Okay, so after that, we after we complete the table, okay, we need to plot the graph. Okay, so remember the primary data here. So this is what we call the primary data. Okay, so the primary data here actually we will follow back the uncertainty. Okay, for example, let's say this is plus minus 0 0.1, therefore all one decimal place. So we must follow back. Okay, whereas M here is the, the secondary data. Okay, where secondary data meaning that we must use calculator to calculate. Okay, so we must use the primary data to get the second value. Okay, so from here, the value here, okay, we must take either two or three decimal places. Okay, so meaning that here we must take negative 2.50. Okay, because we must take at least two to three decimal places. Okay. Okay, next, after finish uh, completing the table, okay, we need to go to the observation for calculation part. Okay, so number one, what should we do is we must find the central point. Okay, so for central point, because we plot N against V, okay, so we must find what is the value yeah, of the central point for V and M. Okay, so we will take, okay, V, total of V, okay, meaning that we will take all the value from V over Six reading, okay, over six reading, and also for y is it is the magnification over six reading, okay. So this is the first step we should do. We must find the central point first, okay. After that, okay, we must find the gradient, okay. The second step is to find the gradient, okay. Before we find the gradient, of course, we need to plot the graph first, okay. So if you based on the graph given here, okay, the data given here, okay. So the graph here. Uh, the range uh, we want to plot y exit is our uh, magnification x exit is the image distance okay so we want to plot the graph okay because the value is negative so i will draw like this okay m no unit v is the image distance so it's in cm okay so uh, this is a negative 0 0.5 negative 1.0 negative 1.5 2.0 okay negative 2.5 positive 0 0.5 okay okay so for x exit is the image distance so the maximum value is 35 so i will start with 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 and 40 okay so okay so after labeling x and also y exit okay next step is we must find the centroid and also we must plot the graph okay so for example this is my graph okay wait this is my centroid okay and this is my graph for example Okay, we need to find the gradient. Okay, so from the graph here, okay, for example, this is my gradient. Okay, where when you want to substitute to find the gradient, of course, you need to find the uncertainty or the smallest divisions okay, from the graph. Okay, so y exit is y2 minus y1, x exit is x2 minus x1. Okay, so for example, let's say for y exit, okay, if you refer back to y exit, the scale here is 0 0.5. Okay, 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 here, we divided by 20, okay, meaning that half of the smaller scale, 0 0.5 over, therefore we will get 0 0.025, okay, meaning that for y exit, we will get 3 decimal places, okay, so you must write, okay, 1, 2, 3 minus 3 decimal places, okay, for x exit, x exit is 5, so 5 over 20, we will get 0 0.25, okay, so meaning that 2 decimal places. Okay, so from here is two decimal places minus two decimal places. Okay, so in order to get a full marks for your graph, the first one, of course, you must write the title. Okay, you must write the title. Okay, this one you will get one mark. And then you must label 
X and also Y exit with the correct unit. Okay, after that, you must use the suitable skill. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 4, 6, 5, 10, 15, okay, or 10, 20, 30, okay. So don't use skills like 3, okay, or 7, okay. That one is actually not the suitable skill, okay. And then you must also find the centroid and then you must also label the centroid, okay. You must circle it up. After that, two points for the plotting graph. Right? If you plot all the points correctly, you will get two marks, okay. Okay, after plotting, and then you must draw a best fit line. Okay, so this best fit line, of course, the first criteria is you must pass through the centroid and then you must pass through as many points as possible and third criteria is it must be balanced on both sides. Okay? okay, after that, you must also find the gradient. Okay, and remember the gradient here, x exit and y exit, usually you must have 8 cm. Okay, here also must have 8 cm. After that, we find the gradient. The next step is we must find to determine the uh, focal length from the gradient. So the third step is we need to do we need to compare the equations huh? where m is equal to negative 1 over f v plus 1. Okay, where we know that our gradient here is equal to negative 1 over f and f focal length from the gradient or the second focal length is equal to negative 1 over m. Okay, therefore if you substitute here, okay, 1 over m where here later m you will get a negative value. So negative here also negative, negative. Okay, uh, this one we don't know. So later you will get positive. Okay, you will get a positive focal length. Again, this is a convex, huh? so it will get a positive focal length. Okay, so this is the second focal length that we will get from the gradient. Okay, so the next step is from the graph. Okay, from the graph, we need to find, huh? because we know that step 4 okay, is when, okay, when m equals to negative 1, v is equals to 2m. So from the graph here, okay, when m equals to negative 1, okay, for example, this is the negative 1. Okay, so you go to find what is the value for V. Okay, so for example, V is uh, 18. So you substitute here 18. Okay, and then it's equal to 2F. So therefore, our F is equal to 18 over 2. Then you will get 9 CF. Okay, so this is assumption. Uh, meaning that from the graph, uh, when M equals to negative 1. Okay, so you will need to find out what is the value for V. Okay, so this is F from the graph. Okay, so this is the third F that we will get from the graph okay so after finish finding these three f okay where the first f is from the is given here okay the first f is from f estimated okay the first f and then the second f is from uh, the gradient okay where from the gradient here one over negative m so we will get the second focal length from the gradient and the third focal length of course is from the graph huh? when m equals to negative one v is equal to two f so you'll find the F from the graph, okay, from the graph here, okay, we will get the V and then you get the graph. Okay, so after finish, find out these three, okay, we will go to a discussion part. Okay, where discussion parts as usual, okay, for discussion part as usual, okay, you need to report. Okay, the first one is you need to compare the theoretical value, okay, and also experimental value, okay, experimental value, okay. So we know that uh, the actual value for the focal length, okay, meaning that our focal length theory, okay, is equal to 10 cm. So you need to report, okay, the finding. Uh, the first one is the uh, f from estimated. Okay, so you write down what is your answer, and then we also have f radian. Okay, so you must report out what is the finding, and we also have focal length from the graph uh, where when m equals to negative 1 v is equals to 2 f okay so from there we will get uh, f from the graph okay so after you report all the value we must go to the next part part b is okay part b is okay you must find the errors or mistakes okay so you have one two three after that part c is you must find out what is the ways to overcome okay or you can write the precaution step Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, and finally we will go to. And finally we will go to conclusion. Okay, so you must report out what is the finding. Okay, so that's all for this experiment.